According to CNN's report, Sea Wall Ferry drifted facing Byungpung Island but government's report showed that Sea Wall Ferry drifted with her stern towards Byungpung Island. Today, we will analyze the reason for such difference. If I say the result first, there was high possibility that AIS of Sea Wall Ferry was turned off at that time. This data was reported by CNN at that time. Captain Moon was watching Seawall Ferry on the radar early in the morning. He said that Seawall Ferry was sharply turning at a very low speed. Also, he said that her AIS was turned off at that time. I didn't know she was Seawall Ferry at the start but I was afraid of possible crossing in the route, possible collision, and watched her on the radar. The AIS of the ship was turned off and I didn't know the ship was Seawall Ferry. He raised the possibility of intentional shutdown of AIS by the crew. It couldn't be turned off unless the crew turned off it intentionally. It's a simple receiver and does not have a trouble. It is not easily explained why the electricity was cut off in such time zone. Somebody might intentionally turn off the switch. In my guess, somebody might turn off the AIS to hide the position of the ship but it's not easy for me to say now, a question may be made that disappearance of AIS information on Seawall Ferry might be the problem of Dula Ace only. However, the evidence is that the AIS information on Seawall Ferry was unavailable at that time are found in other data, too. Seawall Ferry, say. We are now checking with eyes but AIS is unavailable now. Your ship seems to be the red tanker in the direction of our stem. What's the ship name? Wait after putting your ship at the port side of our ship, not stem side, please. We are now waiting at the port side, however, my ship is pushed by flood tides, continuously. Yes, I see. What is waiting at the port side? We cannot confirm it. The crew of Seawall Ferry could not see AIS information on the AIS device. Other ships cannot see Seawall Ferry, too. The navigator of a car shows own position only but the AIS of a ship shows not only her position but also the positions of other ships. Therefore, they make a promise to sail left or right to avoid possible collision. AIS is mostly used for communication with recognition of the information on other ships including names. If AIS is turned off, although a ship is seen, it's impossible to know the name of the ship. Next video shows the communication between an adjacent ship and Jindo VTS. Jindo VTS, this is Dragon Sun. AIS information on Seawall Ferry disappeared. She seems to sink. At that time, there was no power failure in Seawall Ferry. However, government's data shows the AIS information in this time zone. Then, the question is that how the government obtained such AIS information. Such unauthentic data of the government shows that Seawall Ferry drifted facing Byungpung Island. This part is important because the cause of the accident was concluded to be the steering mistake of the crew, based on such unauthentic data. The title of the documentary was determined as follows.